Good morning, modern steaders. Man, does it look weird behind me not seeing that tent back there. That thing's been there for six years now, five years now. <sighs> Feels like fall is in the air, guys. I don't know about where you live, but we can feel the seasons changing here. No, it's still August, but it's almost fall here. You kiddos sleeping in this morning or what, huh? Good morning, boys. <laughs> like, yep, we'll take some hay. There you go. We need to start getting the site area ready where we're going to be building the woodshed. We're getting the woodshed kit delivered in a couple more days. So I want to start getting the site work ready, get the area all prepped so when that comes we can start building the woodshed. We need to get our firewood undercover and make sure it's dry before winter sets in. We're going to have another long six months of winter this year. I want to make sure we got plenty of good dry firewood. You ready? You wanna go back to the herd? Go ahead, go see your babies. Go ahead, get out there. Hurry break and get some little bit of alfalfa. You got the whole feeder and they want the one same spot. Uh, walking back up to the house and look at that. We already got red maple leaves. Told you fall's in the air guys. It seems super early but it feels like fall this morning and yesterday. It's gonna look so different here once that woodshed's built. The dogs seem lost without the wood storage right there. I seem a little lost without the wood storage right there in that tent. That's been there ever since we lived here. <laughs> we set that tent up before we even moved up and stored a bunch of our stuff out there. Uh, homesteading, it's a journey, not a race. There's always plenty of projects to do and it takes years to get set up. Morning ducks, morning moose. Ended up ordering a woodshed from jamaicacottageshops.com. I'll have a link in the description down below to the woodshed we ordered and there's a promo code for 10% off any order. I ended up ordering the 12 by 20. We're gonna put it right here going the long way so we can plow out right in front of it to get our firewood. You guys keep giving me a hard time. Gina needs a place to park her car in the winter. So I'm thinking if we put an addition onto it, it'd be a perfect spot for her. Or maybe the Kubota. Shh. Ah. Let's get some more gravel spread, and then we can start leveling off this area. Got to get this pile moved.
That's looking pretty good. This is the area we had to dig a ditch to put our conduit to run our electrical line down to the post and beam barn we got from Jamaica Cottage Shops. So I just wanted to get it all leveled back off and nice and smooth. I think that did the trick. So we got a little bit left over crusher run. I might bring that down to the front of the barn and we'll put it in front of the garage door. I think I should take this tire chain off. We're not going to need it for what we're doing. And it's getting it's half undone anyways, guys. Yeah, that half came undone. And it looks like our light fell out. All rusted up except for where we drive on them. They're nice and clean. Now that we've got all the ledge pack moved, we need to try to level off a spot right here to put the woodshed. So where the dirt ends right there, that's how long the woodshed's going to be. And then if we add on a bay for Gina to park her car, it's going to go where that bucket is. And I don't know if it's going to show up on video, probably not, but it's higher here than it is back here. So I want to see how much of this I can get dug out with the little Kubota and bring that forward or up there more where it drops back to a bank. I think for starters, we should see if we can move some of these rocks. Got the rocks all picked back and where we need them to be. Now we can start digging this area out and bringing that back. I'm hoping since all hair is pretty sandy and soft, I'm hoping that up there is sandy and soft and it'll be easy digging. But you know how that goes.
we're gonna be able to fill a little bit further back so we gotta move this stuff now not sure what that's from but that would not be good in a tire this will be coming up six more inches and we'll be leveling this off some more but this we gotta dig out a little bit more and that we can put back here yeah that's all picked up now we'll start spreading that fill back further here and we'll you probably can't see it on camera but that drops like two feet or three feet from up there so the more we can get leveled off in these back corners actually the more usable storage area we'll have behind the woodshed so that's going to make it really nice guys are like me you don't like taking off your three-point hitch stuff I gotta move that York rake it just never it always seems to take longer than I thought it would so I usually tend not to take anything off there we go that seemed like the right adjustment There we go. Let's go hook up to the York Rake now. Let's see what we got for a width here. Looking for 30 feet. We don't want to go quite to the maple tree, but we want to get close. 30 feet, boom. All right, so maybe we'll dig it out a smidge more so we have a little bit of wiggle room. But yep, that's good. That'll put us right here where we need to be. We just need to dig it out a little bit more over there and we'll be good. is idling really rough it's almost like it wants to stall out so I'm trying to rush and get the mower deck off before it starves itself for fuel and then we won't be able to keep it running or get the mower deck off so we gotta do it kind of quickly better to get to the fuel filter I gotta get my mower deck out of the way otherwise I can't access it a fuel filter no big deal this 
that one down there which looks fine but there's the one down below that always gets clogged so hopefully i have a spare fuel filter here all right this is up here that's where it comes from so we gotta clamp it off there you go. Oh. No, of course not. Last time I used my filter, I didn't replace it. Bummer. All right, I tried to clean it out a little bit. It's put back in. Let's see if that'll take care of it so we can get done this afternoon. And then later on, I'll have to run out, get a filter and change it for tomorrow. Put a stone on this because we're gonna want to say here. Let's check 20 feet. I'll put the tape all the way out. Thirty feet, so we gotta I'll have to dig this down just a smidge. To get that down a little bit deeper. And 20 feet is right here for the first part. And the building is 12 feet deep. And that's gonna go to here. So 12 feet, oops, or to here. So we need to clean up this back edge a little bit bring it down there and then we'll have to bring it back down 
dig down here a little bit. We'll get this cleaned up. We won't be doing this right away, but we'll get it cleaned up, dug out, and put the fill back there. The, original, the fir first part of the building is going to be coming to here, so we're good for this. But I want to make sure we got this level, because that's going to be the same height. We'll put retaining wall in the back part of it, and that'll be the carport. It's amazing how much more usable space there is over here now. That was all dropped off before, like back there. This is the spot last winter that I got the truck stuck and I almost took out the York Rake. Elevation and contour normally doesn't show up too well on video, but we're a little high here, there, and then we can bring some more gravel in and get this area filled up and leveled off, but after we get the Kubota running again. Yep, you can just dump it all in one spot and kind of throw it in there. They got plenty of hay. We should check and see if they need water. They just chillaxing. You got a new buddy? What are you thinking, Hope? Loving the apples. <laughs> she was sitting on a whole pile of them. How many? That's it. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Organic grass fed burger from farmfoodmarkets.com. Mm -mm -mm. So the Kubota started running pretty darn rough again. I'm gonna have to go out and get a fuel filter tonight. So hopefully we can get that, get it changed over tomorrow morning. And I'm hoping that takes care of the issue with the Kubota. I think from knocking it around and being so rough on it, we've jarred out some sediment out of the fuel tank and it's getting plugged up in the fuel filter. But you know how that goes. Anytime you're trying to get a big project done and working hard, something always has to give you a little hiccup. So hopefully, We'll be able to get that fixed in the morning and get the Kubota running. We have a couple of our nephews staying with us for the next few days. So if you're seeing some boys in the video, that's who they are. They're going to be enjoying some farm life before they go back to school. Today is one of the last days to sign up for the DIY Abundance Permaculture member website. Actually, if you're watching this video, Saturday the day it goes live. Sunday is the last day to sign up. So if you're watching this video, the day goes out or the day after, and you want to sign up for that membership website, there's a link in the description down below. We're going to be making monthly how-to videos for Justin Rhodes' DIY member website. And we're going to be asking you guys for your feedback and what kind of how-to video or topic you're looking for. We're also going to be in the Facebook forum group answering questions, chit-chatting with all y'all. I'm very excited for this, and I'm curious to see what kind of video topics you're looking for. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description down below. Thank you for coming along on our journey with us, guys. Remember, homesteading is a journey, not a race. It takes time. Or for our case, it's taking us years to get our homestead set up the way we want it. So if you guys are in the journey getting into homesteading, give yourself a break. It takes time. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.